and you can find drugs on here. I just found that out too. You can find drugs on here. What? What the fuck? All right, they're asking for the queen. I'm a bad bitch, she's a savage. Look, look, look back while I turn. I'm a savage. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Sassy, moody, nasty. What's up, Tube? I go by V Miami, aka V Miami Ali, and you already know I'm gonna do it my way, my way, my way. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And that's on Miami. And when you subscribe, you are officially a part of the VMA Nation. Who is VMA Nation? That's me. You a part of me. Y'all my family now. Y'all, y'all, it's all love now. So definitely make sure you click that subscribe button. I'm coming through with my top five apps that I suggest that you have for 2022. Let's get it! The first app is called Resi. I found out about Resi about two years ago when I was trying to book a reservation for a restaurant and I couldn't even book over the phone. This was like back in 2020 during COVID. I couldn't book over the phone. We were trying to have a party and they're like, no, download this app called Resi. Ever since 2022, y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, Resi has been everything. Resi is an app where it's all restaurants worldwide. So even if you're international, national, you can still find Resi and it's so easy. It's so, so easy. So of course, what you're gonna do, you can find this app in, of course, your Apple Store. If you have a Galaxy, you can find it in, you know, your store on your phone as well. I have an iPhone, so you simply go to your Apple Store. I already have Resi on my phone. So yeah, you can see all the restaurants in your nearby area. Right now, you guys, I'm on the West Coast. I'm in Vegas having a lot of fun right now. So you can see all the reservations. It gives you times. It gives you everything that you need. You can also adjust it. You can also book in advance too as well. So say if you wanted to book a reservation Wednesday, January 26, you could pick early, prime, late, lunch, or all day. Let's let's do early. Let's do early because we, we some early people. Let's do early. So it gives you a list of all reservations from all restaurants and their times. You guys see it right here. Boom, 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 boom. And also if you wanted to click a restaurant, this is 3.8, if you don't want that one. Let's go for 4.4, I wanna try something different. It gives you all the protocols, all the safety measures, cause you know, you guys, we are still in COVID. So it's definitely gonna give you all the COVID measures and give you description about the restaurant. As you can see, it gives you the maps and then it also gives you a price range. So this restaurant is not too bad. It has what, two, two dollar signs, that's not bad. Gives you the phone number, it gives you also their Instagram and their social media, which one thing I really like about Resi is that they give you the social media. Let's just say you wanted to look at, you know, their their images of their the food. But Resi, it make it has it everything there. So you can literally click on their Instagram, click open. And boom, it'll go straight to their restaurant. It'll show you all of their pictures and their menus. If you want to be nosy, you can see who's following them. You know, you can do all that, all that good stuff. All right, y'all. So the next app is the to-do list app. This is like one of my all-time favorites. App. This app literally helps you organize your whole entire life. No matter if you're a professional, a business person, an entrepreneur, a school teacher, a construction worker, um, a content creator, a YouTuber, a TikToker. It don't matter who you are. You can even have kids, you can be single. It does not matter. This app comes in handy for every single body. It is a to-do list. Simply, of course, download the to-do list on Apple. If you have an Apple phone, Galaxy, you guys already know what to do. I don't need to explain that. But the to-do list is very, very simple and it's so easy, you guys. So easy. And by the way, this video is definitely not sponsored. I'm just giving you guys recommendations on the apps that I use and that I think you guys should have for 2020. We're moving on to a whole different type of way of living. So you need to have the to-do list. So of course, when you download, you're gonna have to sign in, create your username, all that good jazz. Once you get inside the app, you'll see all these information here. You'll see inbox, today, upcoming, filters and labels, welcome and try boards. Of course, I'm just giving you guys a sample. I'm not, I don't want y'all in my business. It's all love, but I don't want y'all knowing what I'm doing every day. Y'all don't need to know what I'm doing every day. Maybe soon, but not now. I love y'all though. All right, so let's go right into it. So inbox, of course, you'll see all your to-do lists is here. I just created some examples. Of course, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. These are where all of your to-do lists will be stored. And then you also have to-do lists for today. So if you set up your, your to-do list correctly and you have a bunch of things you have to do today, it will be stored there. But one thing I like about this app is that you can find your to-do list anywhere on this app. 
And then you also have upcoming. So this will show you month by month year by year if you're that type of person that schedules out six months in advance a year in advance this is for you especially business people professionals if you are an entrepreneur this will help you tremendously 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 so then you also have filters and labels so the filters and labels are good um, because say if you want to have a label for your kids, you know, say your kids have practices and soccer games and basketball games, you can label them whatever you want, like, you know, kids soccer games and then put all their soccer games under that. Or you can put fitness. If you're like me and you like fitness, you can put fitness. Maybe you need to renew your gym membership or maybe you're a trainer, athletic trainer, you need to put down, you know, okay, today I'm working out with V Miami today at 12 p.m. Woo, 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 woo. You can put that in there too. Dental appointments, doctor appointments for kids, bills, y'all. You can even schedule your bills in here. If you're that type of person that has a lot of bills and you don't have automatic payment, because I know a lot of people don't like having automatic payment. I mean, I have it on some bills, but not all. You can also schedule your bills on here and make it label and be a perfect project manager. Did y'all hear that? Y'all could be a perfect project manager. You don't even have the skills for it. I am the one, the way your time don't need to and then you also can filter it by priorities, priority one, priority two, priority three, and you can also assign tasks to yourself. It even gets even more in depth if you have it on your desktop. You can actually assign people in your contacts, in your phone contacts, to your kids, to your family, to your friends, to your colleagues as well. But on the app, let's just dive into it. So here, you'll go back to the main screen, you'll click that plus sign right there. And now you can write whatever you want to write. Let's just say, hmm, today I want to, hmm, I need to renew my gym membership. Let's do that. I need to renew my gym membership. You can put that there. And then you can also, what's cool about this app, you can add. So let's say I want to renew my gym membership um, Wednesday, uh, let's see, January 28th. Friday. And then you can also add a time, y'all. That's what's cool. You can add a time as well. Uh, let, yeah, let's do 11.38 p.m. This is just an example. And also, you guys, you can click a time zone right now. I'm on the West Coast, so I'm just going to click that time zone right there. Boom, save it. And then once you save it, it'll be right here. And then you can also make it put it on your label. So once you get cool with the app, you can create labels. You can do your own due deals with that and create different labels and put it in there. Right now, I'm gonna put mine under fitness because it falls under fitness. And then I can also make it a priority. If it's a priority one that needs to get done right away, I'm gonna click priority one. If it's not priority one, I can click priority two and then boom, it's right there. One another cool thing about this app is that you can honestly you can scan documents. So say if you have like a doctor's appointment for your kids and you know they have a particular document that you need and you don't want to you know hold papers everywhere in your car and it might get lost, you can actually scan it on here and keep it on your phone as well. Especially if you take pictures from your phone, you can add it on here too. So we're done right now. Of course, every time that you do um, a to-do list, it goes straight to your inbox. So we're gonna do that. And then boom, it went straight to our inbox. So remember we had three, now we have four. So boom, you'll see it right there. Renew gym membership, January 18th, 1131 p.m. You can also add subtasks too. Let's just say you wanna add a subtask and you say, hey, I wanna bring my, my child to the gym. So you can put that in there to remind yourself, you know, or maybe you just wanna be, you wanna do push-ups every 24 hours at the gym. I don't know, I'm just making up something from the top of my head. You could put that in there too. That relates to fitness. You might wanna add another label called, like here are the labels right here, you can add it. Let's see, morning routine. Morning routine, we could pick a color, boom. I don't know, I'm just picking any color, you could put done. So now you have morning routine in your labels. Say you wanna say, okay, don't forget to floss. Don't. <laughs> and you can also make this recurrent. So don't forget to floss every, oops, every day. And it will make it recurrent. So you see that little symbol right there? It has an arrow going up and down. That means it's reoccurring. So by any means, y'all, y'all should not be forgetting to floss every day. But this will help you remember to floss every day. And that should be priority one. I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. That should be priority one. And then you can click labels. You can scroll down to morning routine and add that to morning routine. And it is that simple, you guys. And of course, you'll get notifications. You'll get messages. All right, y'all, my third app is called Dual Lingual. Y'all, I just found out about this app, um, I think, no, actually, yeah, it was last year where I found out about this app. 
because I wanted to spruce up my Spanish, y'all. I'm from Miami, and of course, you know, living in Miami, you have to be triple trilingual, D-lingual, lingual whatever type of lingual you gotta be. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Spanish, so I heard about this app. Um, fun fact about me, I'm Caribbean descent, so I actually, um, I don't speak two different languages, but I know two different languages. I'm semi, you know, trilingual, but this right here, this is perfect. If you want to learn a new language, you have it right here at the tip of your tongue. It is called Duolingo app. So here, of course I had Spanish here, but you can pick any type of language you want. Spanish, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Chinese, Russian, Korean, Portuguese, Arabic, Dutch, Swedish, Norwegian, Turkish, Polish, Irish, Greek, Hebrew. The list just goes on y'all. Y'all catch my grip. The list really goes on and it makes it so fun and interactive. Like I had Spanish, I did the intro part. Um, I gotta go back and do more, but I love it. Like, I like how, you know, you can unlock audio sessions, you can create a profile. Of course, I have a profile. I'm just showing you guys how it looks when you just download the app. So sign in, you can create a profile. Um, you can also look at news feeds too. Um, it, it really just challenges you. It really challenges you. You can, ready for a challenge, click a A. Ready for a challenge, click a A. No, this is really just a news feed though, but here it can show you like your points at the top. It pretty much gives you like different goals too. And if you wanted to buy gems to participate in other challenges to really challenge yourself, you really could. Like if you're really serious about learning another language, you really can challenge yourself and just make it happen and set goals. So you could do double or nothing. Of course you have to have diamonds for that. And then you can also do a street freeze. Um, once you set it up and you pick your language, I pick Spanish, of course, you'll go through all the different types of lessons and it will literally take you step by step through different lessons. And of course, it just keeps getting harder and harder as you go. Um, there's quizzes, there's little tests in there, but it's really fun and interactive. And I feel like for an adult, this is perfect. So definitely check out this app, Duolingo. All right, y'all, moving along to my fourth favorite app that you should have on your phone for 2022 is the WebMD app. WebMD is a leading source for trustworthy and timely health and medical news information, y'all. You guys should definitely have this on your phone. Of course, with COVID and everything that's going on, this is something that you definitely want on your phone. It can, you could put any symptom, any condition that you're in and look it up. Um, it also gives you like the top news and top stories too, actually as well. And you can find drugs on here. I just found that out too. You can find drugs on here, prescription drugs out of pocket for that shit, way out of pocket. What do you gain from that? We, uh, prescription drugs, y'all. Um, register, you can sign in if you want to. There's podcasts, you get notification, newsletter, feedback. Um, everything is on here. I mostly use it for like symptoms and stuff, but of course you can use it for anything that you want. It has very extensive, extensive different tabs that you can use. You could do your medical reminders, drug interactions, pill identifier, and identifier, pill identifier. If you have allergic tracker, you can do that as well. Symptom checker, everything is here. Another tab, which is my favorite, where you can find doctors near you. So say if you're out of town like myself and you wanna find a doctor that's near you, you can literally type in your conditions or whatever procedure that you think you might need. You can literally, and you can search doctors, y'all. WebMD is so well needed during this time, especially like me, I travel a lot. If you travel a lot, this is definitely something that you need to have on your phone. Like a lot of times when we're out of town, we always go you know, to Google to find the nearest doctor if you're sick. But if you have WebMD on your phone, it gives you detailed information that you need. Get, get this app, y'all. All right, y'all, so here is the fifth app that I have that you should have on your phone for 2022. It is called Cam Scanner. Let me tell you about Cam Scanner. It has a pro side to it, and then it has a free side to it. Of course, you already know me. I'm using the free side all day, all day. I don't need the pro side right now. If you're one of those people that need the pro side, by all means, buy that thing. Hit, buy that thing. So you already know Cam Scanner scans documents, PDFs, um, all types of documents, Word, um, I think even Excel. I think I tried that before, it scans Excel. Um, and it also takes pictures from your phone too. You can do single, you can do batch, you can do revision notes, book, QR, QR codes, which is a huge part of you know social media too, ID cards, 
tech slash word id maker excel remember i told y'all y'all could use excel y'all thought i was lying greeting cards you could literally scan anything and they also have cute templates look at this for free oh my gosh you guys i'm using my hand because i clearly i have i don't want to scan my personal documents but you guys catch my catch my drift like come on now man y'all see what's going on and then it also goes in depth to like a pdf word you can also do conversions some i'm sorry y'all but you know apple they have something i think where you can scan but this even makes it better of course it's the pro version some of them aren't you have to you know pay for but it's okay but if you want to do that you can convert pdf files to word all from your phone all from your phone pdf to excel all from your phone pdf to powerpoint all from your phone pdf to images all from your phone pdf to load images all from your phone we can keep going we can keep keep going but yeah, it's simple. I love this app. And of course, um, of course you can upgrade your account, which I really don't need at this point, but you have education benefits. You can sync, you can scan document settings, restore, purchase items. And keep in mind, you know, you guys, um, if you already have this app, kudos to you. If you don't definitely get this on your phone. Once again, I mean, even if you're in school, you're a business professional, anybody can use this app. Like I said, you can convert, you can scan any document. I, I mean, you could probably scan a dog. You